Well, it's starting to get that time. Weather's finally getting warmer. Had some frost advisories for the past couple days. I think finally we're done. I don't know. So I'm about ready to start opening up this laundromat. First thing I gotta do is fix the electrical, which involves this S double O double S double O W cable. Some uh, ten three or eight three, what the hell it is. This panel box and some twelve two. What I'm gonna do is make this as a portable. This is what's gonna supply power. This gets hooked up to the dryer outlet in the house. That's two forty. That gives me about 30 or 40 amps per circuit, so two uh, outlets, one on each of these, gives me like 30 to 30 or whatever. Now, 120 amp circuit can run three washers, so it should be able to handle it. Should hopefully, not have any problems this time around. So, I just need to start wiring this up. So let me go ahead and do that. Alright, it's coming along. So you got the cable here running into here. I don't have any clamps that big. So just leave it open, doesn't matter. So you got the 12 2 here running to two outlet boxes. So that's two 20 amp circuits. 120 amp is capable of running three machines going in the spin at the same time. Found that out by accident. So they should be able to theoretically power all five, but. They won't all be going at once because I don't have enough water pressure. So you got the two hots coming in. So your main lugs. You got your neutral and you got your ground bar. Just these two circuits in here for now. With your twist lock on here, 30 amp. So it gets plugged into that giant cable there. Which gonna get plugged into the dryer outlet. So, it's coming along. Got to put the outlets in here and the covers on. Then put the cover on this, and then we should be able. Then one of these days, start start opening the laundromat, rinsing out the uh, antifreeze in them. See if that may take survive. Because I couldn't put it in the spin cycle. What I'd have to do is future reference, put it, do a wash cycle. Then when it spins, then put the antifreeze in the system. I don't have a manual, so I don't know how to program the damn thing. I'll get into like a test to test the system out. Nobody can give me information as where to find a manual on this thing. So, anyway, let me finish working on this. Right here, it is all finished. The covers bolted on. See, so you got your two breakers, two 20 amps. Got your outlets here. Industrial looking metal cover, so they don't get broken. So the only thing left now is to plug it into that extension cord, plug it into the dryer outlet, and then start unwinterizing these washing machines. See if everything survived the winter or not. So that'll be the next part, actually opening up this stuff.